Gymnastics is kind of known for just um, the struggles with body image and eating disorders. And I remember from a very young age, I started getting weighed and body fat tested. And just this desire to be small. It was like you do anything to be that. So I struggled a lot with eating disorder issues, so like disorder type eating, so restriction, and just seeing myself in a light that I didn't like. Yeah, I'm just proud that I'm able to talk about those things um, in a genuine way to just build relationships with other women and hopefully make them feel less broken. because I've spent a lot of my life feeling broken, feeling unlovable. Uh, just feeling like I'm messing up or like that I don't have purpose where I'm at. And I have worked really hard through um, some of my own my own issues and my own things that, you know, I've grown up with some family trauma. I've been through some things in my life. I've um, would never want a young woman to grow up feeling the way that maybe I felt. And I think there's a space in this world that we can help each other to that. I think what I've learned is that more women struggle with it than you think. And so I think I just learned that you're not alone in that space. Major percentage to finish up. Another title is coming to Cookville. I think just to talk myself through some of not stepping back into those bad patterns or thoughts about that is reminding myself about the truth of who I am um, and who God says I am and that my identity is not in what I look like or you know, my accomplishments or accolades, like all those things are really cool and fun, but being able to be in community with someone or in a relationship with somebody, that's kind of where the magic is, I think. Life is fleeting, it's really short. So I don't wanna waste days hating myself or worried about what I look like or putting on this air that everything's perfect and that oh yeah, you can do it, you know, just cut those cows and you'll look like, you know, this girl over here because that's not the reality, right? We want to live and love ourselves so that we can love other people well. And that's, that's what's important to me. I would tell a young woman that they're valuable, and they're loved, and they're worthy of being truly who they are, their authentic self, that we don't have to shrink down and be small. You can be all that you are, whatever that looks like. And there is beauty in that space when you're free to be who you are. <laughs>